have heard people say 2020 should come and go with all it brought. Now you are staring at 2021. What will you do with it? Welcome to the Echo Bank Business Hour, where we bring you valuable insights to help you grow your venture and explore new opportunities. I am Greg Gudutayo, a media entrepreneur. And I'm Helena More, a teachpreneur. I teach and also do business. Together, we'll be sharing useful insights and tips for you and your business. Echo Bank Business R is brought to you by Echo Bank Limited, the Pan-African Bank, seven businesses all over Africa to help them grow. You can also join the conversation and contribute to the show on LinkedIn and Facebook at Echo Bank Business R, on Twitter, Echo Business R. Yes, join the conversation. Let's make it fun and exciting. On today's episode, we will be sharing insights into annual planning for small businesses. We would like you to use the insights gained on the Echo Bank Business R to plan for your business in 2021. Identify trends in the environment that could aid or be a threat to our business in 2021 and help us to take informed decisions on our businesses and ultimately engage with Echo Bank on how to help your business grow. Echo Bank is your SME banking partner. So Helen, what will you do with 2021 now that it is here? Hmm. For me, it is to stick to my plans for 2021 and make contingencies because 2020 did not go as I planned. So I learned a lot from what happened in 2020. You see, I love setting goals. I like to plan with details of how I'll achieve them. But nothing worked as I planned in 2020. So now I've learned to add detailed scenario planning in very concrete terms. And that is what I'm going to be doing this year with my teaching, my speaking, and the food business because in 2020 nothing worked as I planned and I have to be more detailed I can't say it enough I have to be more detailed with my scenario planning and prepare for the unexpected 2020 did not go as I planned at all at all but I will still plan for 2021 in fact I have a plan for 2021 already yeah I guess you are right 2020 may not have gone as you planned. In fact, I dare say that there is no one, absolutely no one in this world who planned for the way that 2020 went. Who knew that there would be a global pandemic that would shut down the whole world, that would cause a total global lockdown? So many sick people, so many deaths, and so many failed businesses and massive layoffs. So many people lost their job so so sad so so sad i mean who planned for the protests that we had or the security challenges ravaging the world nobody. even nigeria absolutely nobody you know we now live in a VUCA world it is a volatile uncertain complex and ambiguous world so we did not plan for everything that happened to us but guess what we made it and if you are listening to us you also made it. Yes. Some made of it. us made it, you know, because we were prepared. Others were better prepared. Whilst another group probably had no plans at all, but they were able to weather the storm. So whichever category you are in, I say, well done. You made it. Welcome to 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to 2021. You know, we have to plan for the year. We have to plan for the future. We have to plan for this year. No matter what 2020 gave us, we have to plan short term, medium term, and long term. Because without a plan, I tell you, Greg, anything and everything will be a surprise. Yep. You must be clear on where you are going if you don't want surprises. If you take a survey or a poll, you are likely to discover that it is those who had concrete plans that were able to manage all the volatilities that came with 2020. COVID-19, NSAS, Forex fluctuation, multiple increases in prices of fuel, spikes in food prices, all costs went up in 2020. And it was a total nightmare. Yeah, a major nightmare. And that's why we have to be prepared. 
we really have to plan. Because if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. And if you fail to plan, you are in essence planning to fail. So Helen, tell me, when we say planning has to be 360, what do we mean? Mm, 360 degrees planning. It means you have to plan for everything. You know, it means you have to plan for yourself, your business, your career, your family, your social life. You know, people don't plan for their personal lives. They just let things happen. Yeah. So you have to plan for your finances, even your health, your physical and mental health, it's your a, emotional it's a total health. Plan. Exactly. You know, so so we are humans and we, we live in a world where we have different roles and responsibilities. You know, one role must not suffer because of the other. We must find a rhythm that helps us stay on mission to achieve our personal goals and our vision. You're dropping so many things here. Uh, we need to stay on a mission to achieve personal vision and set goals. How is that different from a New Year resolution? <laughs> you know that at this time of the year, people are talking about resolutions, yeah. what they want to stop doing and what they will start doing. True. And they believe that this will help them achieve better. Mm -hmm. Well, although may I have some reservations about this, I believe we should be disciplined about our plans and stay on course to achieve them, yeah, especially right. as a business owner. I don't want people to just come and share some, you know, jargons and fancy words that will not help my business grow or advance my career in any way. Hmm, advance. Yeah, you're right. I mean, you're right. You know, that's why I'm saying that when you plan, you have to take everything into consideration. You know, I'll give you an example. For instance, there are some people who say they are serial entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. They have like three businesses. Tell me you about <laughs> you got You can find somebody who is supplying food items and is a personal shopper. She has another one where she's selling clothes and gift items. She has a third one where she runs the cleaning services because she had the equipment. Right? And at the same time, this person is married with two children and one husband and also running an online master's degree program. That is a lot for one person to be doing, tell me. Exactly, exactly. Because if that person doesn't have some sort of structure or plan around all these activities, they will just be busy 247 and everything will be an emergency. And they will burn out very quickly. A lot of business owners are like that, you know. Especially those ones who are small. You know, because they say that don't put all your eggs in one basket, you must have multiple streams of income. You find people running four or five businesses at once with no plans. I've seen it. <laughs> this table you are shaking, Helen. Uh, we see this every day in Nigeria. And at the end of the year, you have worked so hard and you have no reserves or money to show for it. Hmm. You know, if you want to be prosperous and you're a small business owner, you must sit down and plan. Sit down and plan. Yep. Because that is when you realize that you have limited times in a year. You have 24 hours like everybody else. And so you must know where to best channel your energy so that you can be profitable. There's no point having a business that is not profitable. You are burnt out. You are tired. You must have a plan that can help you be prosperous and also live in good health and have a family life. The thing here is we need to bring this planning home. Make it real and practical. So Helen, how can a small business owner or a startup plan for the year? Where do they start from? How can they do a simple plan that will help achieve their goals? Break it down for us. Okay, let me, let me answer your first question. Making it concrete. You know, when you say making it concrete, it means for me, you have to look at your life and your business. There must be a marriage of the two. You know, people tend to plan their career very well. You find people very successful with their career. But when they start running businesses, especially when it's small and, you know, it's just a one man person, the promoter is everything. They struggle. They are usually not as strategic or rigorous. So that makes it difficult for the business to grow. And so it is important that structure has to come in because without a plan, without a structure or a vision, you will struggle. So whatever your business is, you have to have a very clear plan for 2021. I'll give you an example. Now, now you keep saying concrete. Let me give you an example, right? For instance, 
if you have set your goals for 2021 that look one i want to ensure i have a happy family with two children excelling in academics and sports and anything else you want to have a holiday in one country could be africa maybe kenya you want to invest in five hectares of land you want to buy shares you want to earn profits of 10 million from the three businesses you want to complete an mba plan greg these are concrete plans right yep, yep. these are very concrete goals and if you have listed these goals i have something called fiber which i used to do my own plan for 2021 i call it fiber f-i-b-a family goals investment goals business goals then achievement or academic goals okay okay helen so i have done my fiber goal planning that's my family goals my investment goals my business goals my academic goals i've done the planning mm-hmm. the next question will be what should i do to achieve these goals how do i go about it hmm. okay so so planning is number one number two you now have to follow it up with concrete execution okay so you have to ask yourself some questions for your business number one this business i run how will i run it so i can make a profit of 10 million remember you set a goal for 10 million greg yeah how will i run it was i profitable in 2020 because if you set a goal to be profitable this year you have to check what you did last year Mm -hmm. exactly what did we do should we be doing the same thing or change some of the things we are doing and then you ask yourself, what will you change? Is it a growing sector? Should I stay or exit? What worked? What did not work? You have to audit your performance. You know, that is the beginning of planning. So, so Greg, for, for you, you keep asking me, is it real? I can ask you a few questions now. When you wrote your own goals, did you check what happened last year? Yeah. Did you check what happened to your business? That is the beginning of planning. You have to check where you are coming from. Check what happened to you in 2020. And then know what you should be doing in 2021. That is how to plan. If you are in food business, for instance, do you know the regulations about NAVDAC? Do you know what has changed? Do you know about your finances? Do you know about taxations? Do you know there's a new law that affects you and I? The Kama Law. The Kama Law. Eh, eh, Thank you, Greg. You got that one. Are you aware of government incentives? And which one can you take advantage of? Which programs do, do you know of? Do you know, Greg, for instance, that there's a support for the creative industries? Do you know that? Yep. Have you been able to tap into it? You know? So do you should know what the government is doing. You should know what's happening in the political scene, the social scene. You know, I'm sure that when, when our guest Bioritmi comes on, he'll talk more about it. Can you start exporting as Naira begins to depreciate? And some dollars. Exactly. You know, this year, I want to to end dollars too. So it is only when you plan that you can know all these things. So if you don't take time to plan, you will know. You just will not know. You are shaking this SME table and shaking it very well. You cannot do everything. And you also cannot keep doing the same thing the same way and expect a different result. So you must be intentional about what you want to do. In order to succeed in 2021 that's what you're telling us yes it is i mean and even in terms of the goals right it's not enough for you to write it down because when you write your goal for the year it's long you must break it down to monthly weekly even daily you must have a plan you just must have a plan because it's not everything that comes your way that will help you achieve your goals some distractions come disguised as opportunity so in essence we need to sit ourselves down and define the goals that we want to achieve for the business in 2021. We must leave nothing to chance. If you haven't done this already, now is the time to do this. For the other legs, tell us more. Okay, remember I talked about family, right? I talked about investments, I talked about business and achievement goals. So let me talk a bit about investments. If you have investment goals, it means that you must have surplus. If you don't have surplus, you can't invest. So what is your plan for your investment? How are you going to review your revenue goals? You know, so most times people say, oh, I want to make 10 million naira profit this year. How are you going to achieve it? What will you be doing? How much must you earn for you to make 10 million naira profit? 
you know people need to be more detailed in their plan not that they don't know a lot of us actually have plans in our heads so we have to now take that plan out of our head and put it down on paper or on your laptop or on your phone somewhere so so in essence you are saying that we can only start to talk about investment when we have met our revenue goals and have a bit of a surplus exactly no no revenue no investment <laughs> let's go into the family goals tell us about the family goals yeah for family goals right this this is another area where some of us struggle we all have good plans for our families right but we have to have concrete plans so if you're if you're married and you have children and you have a spouse you have to plan for them remember you also have siblings and your parents in some cases you have to plan for them if you have a plan you can better relate with them you find people who say oh i've not spoken to my brother in three months no you must have some sort of routine for instance you can decide that every day you must dedicate one hour for your children whether it will be early in the day or later in the day you must find time for them right you must also say hey how do i relate for socialization for me i have time during the weekends and i think it's something some of us can do during the weekend you can talk to your friends you can talk to your family you can say one hour will be family and friends are and then you call them instead of going without talking to people and then it's only when you need them you call them and they'll say hey so you remembered me now mm-hmm. so we must be more intentional in our relationships because it's part of our well-being so you're saying work like balance is key as we grow our small businesses we cannot be planning for the business at the expense of the family right okay the yeah. family is a key support leg for our business we need to have that in mind so tell us about the social front ah social greg you know that one now <laughs> you know you know that you have, you have to be clear on how you want to relate with your friends your family your social affiliations you know your religious affiliations if you are if you are religious your education your sports you must create time to play if you don't have a good social life it would affect you ultimately so we must set clear parameters and times for playing you know we must there's there's this saying that says all work and no play makes jack a dull boy yes sir. so we Great must too. create time to play otherwise you lose yourself trying to please everyone okay i hear you and and this has been said several times surround yourself with the people that are going to lift you up higher your circle is your net worth take note of that your circle is your net worth make it count who is in your circle very very important you know very important the people in your circle are the people who are going to help you achieve your goals so you must identify who are the people who will help me in this circle who are your helpers your friends your family your customers suppliers maybe regulators you know and that is why the echo bank business desk is available to both small growing and big businesses you need your bank you need your financial institution money makes iron to float greg so you mm-hmm. must stay very closely with your financial institution very important i tell you as a business owner i know that and we can continue this conversation in more details online send your questions and comments to our social media pages on linkedin and facebook echo bank business r and on twitter echo business r Welcome back to the Echo Bank Business R and it has been a very interesting time talking about how you need a plan for 2021 no matter how small or big your business is of course the big businesses tend to have plans and systems for implementation it is usually the small and medium businesses that struggle with planning or have no plans at all so no matter the size of your business especially those of us who think our businesses are too small to make a plan i hope we have helped you with guidelines on how to start your plan you need to have a plan and a clear way of achieving the plan a simple strategy that covers daily weekly monthly quarterly and annual goals thank you for staying with us people before we go remember Don't miss out on the opportunities Nigeria presents. No matter what is happening, look around you. There are problems to solve and needs to be met. 
as long as there's a problem to be solved there is an opportunity to be explored choose one and you're on your way to greatness keep a date with us same time same station next week on the echo bank business hour brought to you by echo bank nigeria the pan-african bank seven businesses all over africa to help them grow you can continue the conversation online send your questions and comments to our social media pages on linkedin and facebook echo bank business r and on twitter echo business r you can also send your comments and inquiries to our whatsapp line 091 3879 Six zero. I remain Greg, and from my worthy partner Helen, stay safe and stay well. See you next week.